Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead. And you can see the uh, dry conditions over all of the Arklatex right now, but we are watching some thunderstorms that are now over southeast Texas and southwest Louisiana. These moving to the north at around 25 miles per hour. And leading edge of this rain, again near Leesville, as I record this, should uh, arrive in uh, get pretty close to uh, Manny by 3, Nagrish 3.30, Mansfield 4 o'clock, close to I-20 here. Looks like uh, between 5 and 6 is when we will see these arrive as far north as I-20, which would obviously include Shreveport and Bossier City. Now keep in mind, this, not, this does not include any new development of scattered thunderstorms that may occur ahead of this uh, main band of activity. There is a possibility that uh, a few of these thunderstorms could be strong. Storm Prediction Center now does indicate a marginal severe weather risk. Uh, for the uh, isolated severe weather threat, mainly from wind and maybe a little bit of hail as these storms move north into the southern half of the area. Uh, reason for these thunderstorms, we do have a little bit of a disturbance which is making its way out of south Texas and moving along the coast. This will give us that quick shot of rain today. You can see the upper level energy off to our west. That's going to increase our rainfall chances and actually continue those chances for the rest of the week. So here's a look at uh, Futurecast as we go through the uh, evening hours this evening. Again, the thunderstorms will begin to weaken as we approach sunset uh, during the evening. And then tonight, uh, more scattered showers will be possible. Tomorrow, we will see uh, areas of showers and thunderstorms redevelop across the area as rain will become likely once again. Tomorrow night, still looking at some showers and thunderstorms across the area. And then Thursday, expect lots of clouds and uh, maybe not the coverage that is on tap for later on this afternoon, this evening, as well as tomorrow, but still uh, some scattered showers and thunderstorms will be possible uh, during the afternoon Thursday. Futurecast shows that rainfall potential across the area will vary quite a bit. You can see many locations hardly getting any rain at all, and it is possible we could see spots that pick up upwards of one to two inches of rain from now total through Thursday. And uh, uh, again, uh, it's possible that you may have gotten an inch or two yesterday, maybe three. You may taste stay totally dry today, but if you got missed yesterday, you may get that one to two inches uh, here over the course of the next few days. Now, longer range, there is some uh, drier weather, but on the distant horizon. As we put this in the motion here, you can see we have this disturbance uh, come Thursday that'll give us that shot for the shower thunderstorm as this uh, weakness here across the Intermountain West kind of lingers. The threat of rain will continue into the weekend and we will see uh, again that weakness begin to get pushed back towards the west as we have a large area of upper level high pressure which is going to be developing over southwestern Canada. That'll push this back into the Pacific and then as that ridge strengthens somewhat we'll see a batch of cooler air move into the northeast part of the country and that should begin to usher in some drier air into the article text by the middle part of next week. So your forecast looks like this for tonight. Again, expect thunderstorms to increase from south to north late this afternoon and this evening. That activity will decrease tonight as we stay cloudy and it will be humid tonight with lows in the mid to upper 60s. Tomorrow, expect scattered showers and thunderstorms to be likely. We'll see highs uh, because of more clouds quite a bit cooler as we'll uh, top out in the upper 70s across most of the area. 10-day forecast shows that we probably will not see the coverage of the rain uh, Thursday, Friday, and this weekend. As a result, temperatures will be warming back eventually into the upper 80s. That drier air arrives uh, with the winds shifting around to the north late Monday through Thursday. And then we'll see another slight chance of rain by the end of next week. So all in all, watching thunderstorms that are still to the south of the Oracle Text in the middle of this uh, Tuesday afternoon. Those thunderstorms will enter the area this afternoon and likely decrease and eventually come to an end during the nighttime hours tonight.